if you can hear a weird squeaking sound it is my front door the wind is like crazy today and it's just making a weird noise with the front door so please just ignore it Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and in today's video, if you can't tell by the title, we are going to be doing a PR haul slash first impressions. I haven't got a lot of new things, but I've got a few new bits and I thought, you know what, let's sit down. Let's do a PR haul slash first impressions, you know, like, why not? Let's do it. So basically I got sent some bits from She Glam, some bits from Morphe and some bits from Benefit. I thought, you know what, let's film with some bits. I'm excited. Let's jump into it. Okay, so like I said, I got some, some bits from She Glam. We got some palettes. I have done recently a video using a palette from She Glam. I still need to use it's the spring collection. I still need to use the green palette, which I will be doing. I'm not going to be using it today. I'm just not feeling this palette today. So yeah, we're, we're going to be doing this in a different video. But I thought I'd like share it with you guys anyway. Um, and I also got sent four of the palettes. I am really sorry if you can hear a weird squeaking sound. It is my front door. The wind is like crazy today. And it's just making a weird noise with the front door. So please just ignore it yeah she glam sent me some bits if you don't know who she glam is they are sheen but like they're the beauty side of sheen so yeah they sent me four palettes but yeah we have four palettes so we have the hello yellow palette which looks like this i would say it's more green than yellow but yeah it's still really pretty i'm not going to be using this one um, but if you do want me to do a video using this, I will do. Um, there's also Splash Bash, which honestly, I'm kind of feeling I could use this one. I'm tempted. We then have Violet Vision, which looks like this. Really pretty. There's a little pressed glitter in here as well, which is quite interesting. And then we have hint of mint i think it's hint of mint hint of mint which i'm kind of feeling i'm kind of feeling the browns with a like a turquoise minty shade on the lid but i just don't feel like there's a deep enough brown in here but yeah so i got them four parts i'm pretty sure i'm going to be using one of these um then i also just want to show you guys that i got sent the a new morphe palette yeah i got sent a new morphe palette this is the 35o supernatural glow to be honest it looks it's basically just the 35o i'm pretty sure i don't have the first one i did i used to have the first one and then i got rid of it because i got the 35o2 and then i ended up getting the 35o3 and the only one i have now is a 35o3 because that is like the most colorful this one is really pretty. Um, yeah. This is just like a pop of like pink almost. Like a pinky peach shade up here. Which I don't think is in the first one. There's probably some different shades in here. But yeah. If you want me to do a, a video using this palette. Just let me know. Plus they actually have shade names. I don't think they had shade names in the first one. I could be wrong. Let me know if I'm wrong. But yeah. Um, and they might have done actually. But yeah. If you want me to do a tutorial using this palette i can't remember like i can't remember the formula of the first one i know that it was good but it wasn't like the best do you know what i mean so yeah if you want me to do a video using it just let me know i was i'm very tempted to like put it into a giveaway because i just don't feel like i need it but if you guys want a tutorial of first impressions i can do that for you guys just let me know okay i have got some bits and benefits but they're more like brows mascaras that kind of thing um so we're just going to jump into the eyes first we'll use a palette first i don't really know what to use i, I really want to use either the splash bash palette which is this one 
or the hint of mint i don't want to use like both of them i just want to use one like the browns in here look nice but then you know what we're, we're gonna use we're gonna use the splash bash palette um i'm just feeling the shades in here Okay, if you do want me to do tutorials using any of the other Shea Glam palettes, let me know because I can do. I'm, t I'm tempted to, like I think I will, I want to. I'm going to swatch a few of the shades. From my experience, when I used one Shea Glam palette the other week, they it worked really well. Like, honestly, it was actually really nice. Okay, so here are a few shades swatched. I mean, they swatch fine this watch all right they complement each other so well these kind of tones like i don't know what it is but i'm here for it so i'm quickly just gonna go ahead and prime my lids zoom you guys in and we will test this baby out okay so i've literally just primed my lids zoomed you guys in we're gonna go into the first shade we're gonna take the shade lap of luxury which is this purple tone shade here it's quite deep quite deep purple I'm just gonna pack this through the crease. It feels quite dry. I mean, I know that most purple matte shades are quite dry and they're quite difficult to work with. Um, And that shade is packed on fine it's built it up quite well it just took a little bit of time it feels a little bit more dry um but it's still as packed on really well i don't know what happened to my voice there what's going on <clears throat> um but yeah it's packed on really well just took a little bit of time building up um it just feels a bit more on the dry side but it's it's all good like it's not patchy when i've packed it on it's it's really nice I'm then going to go into the shade Underwater Iris, which is this lighter purple shade here. I'm just going to start to blend around the edges. I don't know if I want to cut my crease today or not. Like, I kind of do, but then I kind of don't. Like, I don't really have a lot of time. That shade's really nice. It blends out the first shade really well. Yeah. There is like a pinky shade in here, but I don't think I need to use it. Like I think these two shades have worked well for what I want. So yeah. Um, so I'm going to quickly just go ahead. I'm not going to build these two shades up again. Literally build them or blend them out. Cut my crease. And then we'll be back to do the lid shades guys. Yeah, I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. I've quickly just built the shades up, cut my crease. They look great actually. The purple, like de deep matte shade was just, it's a little bit drying. It's a little bit dry. Um, It's quite crumbly, but yeah, it's still, it's still fine. It does the job. It's still really nice. It still packs on well. It's not, you know, patchy or anything. So yeah, I quite like it. So for the lid, I want to use a turquoise kind of shade. So there is two. That shade's really pretty. But then I also want to use that shade. Maybe we can use this shade like more on the inner portion. Okay, so I'm going to take the shade Thirst Trap, which is this shade. And we'll use this one first. I'll use it more on like the centre of the lid. Um, 
then going to take the shade Mermaid Glow, which is that other shade, this one here. And we're going to put that more on the inner corner, inner portion. They're both really pretty shades. That's cute, I like this. I like this combo. I like it a lot. I'm gonna take as well a little bit of Sail Away, which is this purple shade, deep purple. It's like a shimmer shade. I'm just gonna put that in between the matte purple and the first turquoisey kind of shade. Just then it's a little bit easier for it to blend into the purple matte. I like this. I like it. It's cute. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to do this eye and then I'm going to come back and we have got a mascara to try. So yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. Yes, kind of. I've just, I've just done this eye. I'm obsessed with this eye look. I think it looks so cute. Okay, so next I got some bunch of benefit goodies. They sent me a whole load of stuff. Um, and we've got a mascara to try. This isn't new by any means. It is the Bad Girl Bang Mascara. I have never tried this mascara before. I've tried a lot of Benefit mascaras. I have done one quite recently, not recently, but a couple of months ago. I tried out the new um, Magnet the Real Magnetic Mascara. But yeah, we have got the Bad Girl Bang Mascara to try. I'll leave a price on the screen. I'm not too sure. I've forgotten how much it is. Um, let's see. This is a 36 hour wear mascara. This is what the wand looks like. I really like the packaging. Like even like the packaging of the wand side. I like this. Um, so 90% saw dramatic volume. Um, 94% said it instantly lift lashes. 92% said that it lengthened lashes. Um... So it has 36 hour full blast volume, big volume with 360 degrees reach, I think that is. Um, yeah. Let's just try it. Let's just try it. See what it's like. I have heard good things about it. I feel like it definitely lifts them. Like they definitely feel more lifted. I definitely feel like it's lifted them. Like it has 100% lifted them. My eyelashes usually just kind of go, they're quite long my lashes, but they usually just kind of go like straight forward. Whereas I feel like this is definitely like giving them like a bit of like a curve, which is quite nice I have to see. Yeah, it's quite nice actually. They're a little bit clumpy, like they're a little bit more clumpy than what I would usually go for. But it could be that this just needs to dry out a little bit. So yeah, we'll see. I'm going to go ahead, I'm just going to quickly um, apply my lashes, um, do my primer and then we have a foundation to test from Benefit. We have the Hello Happy Air Stick Foundation. So yeah, I'll go ahead just apply my primer um, do my lashes and then I'll be right back okay so I'm back I quickly just applied my primer my lashes my lashes literally went on in like two seconds like it was kind of crazy like a lot crazy okay so foundation like I said we have the air stick foundation from benefit I am excited. This is a weightless medium coverage stick foundation. It actually has SPF 20 in it as well. I don't think I'm going to need that today because it is chucking it down and it looks dark as hell. Um, but yeah, we uh, we move. I am not really a big stick foundation, not going to lie. But we're going to try it. I'm excited. I have mine in the shade 1, 
So this is a Glide On Air medium coverage stick foundation that feels weightless and breathable. It has soft lightweight powders and shea butter, shea butter, um, help create a light as air glide feel and silky smooth glide. I think I just said that twice. Helps to create a light as air feel and silky smooth glide. There we go. And it has 16 hour long, long wear waterproof. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's waterproof. That's cool. I really like it has a little smiley face on it this is cute i've um, never tried a benefit foundation before so i'm actually excited to try it let's see oh i don't know i'm not like i said i'm not really it's like a stick foundation kind of gal we're just gonna see i don't know how the best way is to apply this like do i apply it with do i apply it with um a brush or a sponge like usually I use my sponge I'm a sponge kind of girl I tried my sponge first if not we will go in with a brush I forgot I don't know if I mentioned I'm in the shade one Um. I think they do have a like liquid version of this foundation please let me know if they do I'm pretty I think they do but I'm just not too sure I definitely need another like layer however I could still go away with like this kind of layer like just like this in concealer it is i would definitely say on the medium coverage side it's quite nice i like that it has spf in it as well like that is pretty damn cool but yeah i definitely need like an extra layer on some areas I don't mind it though it's actually quite nice like if you're just wanting them like natural more natural looking uh, oh, more natural looking foundation days like skin it still works fine with a sponge as well I wish my hair would get out of the way like it's all well annoying honestly two layers has done the trick it looks really nice it definitely feels more like on the dewy side which I kind of like but yeah I actually quite like this I would definitely say it is on the medium side however when you if like you're gonna put concealer on that kind of thing I think it's gonna be beautiful I'm gonna go ahead I'm just gonna quickly do my concealer um, and then I'm gonna be back and we're gonna use the iconic sheer blush I'm excited we have a sheer blush to try this looks beautiful I'm excited so yeah I guess I'll be right back okay so like I said we've got a blush to try so I've literally just done my concealer and a bit of like cream contouring so we have the iconic London um sheer blush and I have mine in the shade rose riot which actually looks quite cute Um, never tried a Sheer blush from Iconic London before. I'm not trying a lot of Iconic products. I got this sent this in the Morphe PR package along with like the um 35O palette. We are just oh gosh, we're just gonna apply a little bit to the cheeks. That is a beautiful shade. Like honestly, this kind of shade is like my kind of shade. It's kind of like my kind of shade. It looks gorgeous. But some are quite thick, like and I wouldn't say the makeup revolution ones are. Um them ones aren't that thick what ones are there's one from she glam i tried one out in the spring collection video and that was like super thick like super thick it was it was kind of crazy this is very sheer it's very sheer but it's still cute though like it still has a nice 
it still has a nice effect to it it's quite nice actually i'm not gonna apply any more and i'm just gonna leave it like this it's very liquidy so i would say that you only need like the tiniest amount and then put some more on that's a really nice shade though like i would probably just you know like on the no makeup makeup days like just put a tiny bit of this on buff it into the skin i like this it's a really nice shade so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna go ahead and nip off camera do pretty much the rest of my base makeup i do have a couple more bits to try so i have a this is it this is a highlighter but i'm gonna use it as like a blush topper it's from nabla so we've got that and we've also got some brow products to use so i'm gonna go ahead nip off camera pretty much do as much as the rest of my base that i can and then i'll be back to do blush brows and i think that's about it so yeah i'll be right back okay guys so i'm back again <laughs> um i literally just done my under eye area as well and um, powdered my face i feel like when i powdered my face like my nose went a bit weird with the foundation but everywhere else looks okay it looks actually all right um it's just yeah i think it's just my nose mainly but it's fine i kind of covered it up a little bit when i did my highlighter as well i'm sure it'll be fine um so yes like i said we have a we have a highlighter but i'm gonna use it as a blush topper because it is quite it's quite dark for me um but i thought it's a really pretty shade so it might look really nice as a blush topper so this is the nabla skin glazing glass skin finish glow powder i think it's meant to be like a highlighter but let me swatch it it's definitely a bit too dark for a highlighter for me um, but that's a really pretty shade i think it could be really nice as a bit of a blush topper so we're going to use it as a blush topper today let me just use a little brush just gonna get in there i might just add a bit of a glow to the blush just a little glow I like that it's not like too overpowering it's just giving like a slight glow to the skin if you can kind of see i really like this it's giving like a slight glow um to the skin it didn't look too glowy anyway when i swatched it so yeah okay now moving on to brows i was sent some bits from benefit again in the brow department and um, we also got sent i also got sent a liner which obviously i'm not going to use and hula bronzer i already love hula bronzer i have like three of them in other palettes so i will be giving this to my mum because she is like hers is like gone like gone so yeah when it comes to the brows well actually as well i did get sent a professional pore flat primer i already have one of these but i want to keep this as a backup because i actually really like this as a primer okay so moving on to the brow products we have a gimme brow which i have already used and i love so i might not use this i might use one of the other ones um so we have got a precisely my brow pencil we then have a brow styler and we have a 24 hour brow setter i'm gonna use the brow setter today um and I'm also going to use the Precisely My Brow Pencil. We will use these two. Ooh, the packaging of this brow pencil though. Like, what? This is bougie. So I have mine in the shade 4.5 Neutral Brown. So does there, oh, there's a spoolie on the other side. So, like, there's a spoolie on this side. And obviously the lid for this is for the pencil yes okay let's try this out let's see actually i'm gonna brush through my brows first with the spoolie and then we will see my brows are not the best at the minute i don't really know why but yeah let's try this 
I've heard so many good things about benefits of brow pencils and brow products like they are known for their brow products this pencil's really nice I would say it is like an exact match for my brows amazing Amazing. I actually realised brow product, like this is gorgeous. So nice, so creamy. I really like it. I really like it. It's really nice. I like how it has a spoolie and I, I you know what, I love the packaging. The packaging for me like is so nice. It is so bougie. Here for it. Okay, so I'm gonna try what did I say I'm gonna try? The 24 hour brow setter let's give this baby a go Ooh, look at the packaging again oh my god i think this is like a clear brow gel i think it is it looks like it let's see i've heard good things about this as well and i'm like i hope it sets my brows in place because it is windy as hell out there today It is definitely um, clear. It's a clear brow gel. 24 hour staying power, flexible, flake, flake free formula. Easy to apply, quick to dry. Coats from root to tip, shapes and defines. Yes. Get set for budge proof brow. This invisible shaping and setting gel holds brows, hairs in place and locks on makeup. So brows don't pull a disappearing act. Yeah. You know what? We're going to test this. We're going to see. It is still drying. Oh, it's set, starting to set. It feels quite, it feels quite like it's setting my brows. My brows are like the worst thing because they just don't stay in place ever. Okay, so I'm going to quickly just apply whatever I need to off camera, the rest of my base, my lipstick, that kind of thing. And then I'll be back on oh, my highlighter as well. I'm filming a separate video for my highlights. So, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just do that. And then I'll be back to give you guys my final thoughts. So yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, so there's just one more product left to try. And it is the Iconic London Prep Set and Glow. Oh, look at how cute that is. Oh my god, let's try a little bit on the skin let's see what it looks like let me just yeah oh oh god it smells amazing this is the original one i think there might be like a lighter version of this now i'm not too sure so yeah this is the finished look guys what do you guys think i'm kind of here for it kind of digging it let's talk about some of the products my my whole desk is like full it's just full to the brim it's just there's just makeup everywhere um so let's talk about the palette first of all that's the first thing that i tried i really like this i think the shades in here are stunning i think you could even do this kind of look what i've done but like reversed so use like the turquoises turquoisey green in the shades in the crease and then put like the pinky purple shades on the lid and mwah, be beautiful but i love this color story the color combo it like every single shade in this palette complements each other and they actually work really well together the shades beautiful didn't have a problem with any of them they all packed on amazingly um the purple was a little bit dry but like now when i've got all the other shades together like you wouldn't be able to tell it just takes a little bit of working with and i think as well i think because it's quite cheap it's still an amazing quality obsessed love i love the shimmer shades like i think they look gorgeous on the lid i did use the turquoisey kind of shade this one and the the greeny shade on my lower lash line and i just think it just finishes the look for me it really does next i used the black the bad girl bang mascara 
Um, I actually quite like this mascara. I'm just going to have to give it a more of a try. Um, it looks quite nice. It's a little bit clumpy when I try to apply like a few layers. But it might dry out a little bit when I've had it for a little longer. But I can definitely say that it definitely curled my lashes and lengthened them. And there was definitely a curl there. Which I never usually get with a lot of mascaras. Because usually the mascara will just go on and my lashes will just be like straight. Um, but I didn't even have to curl them and this helped to curl them. So here for it. The foundation, I do quite like this. I just didn't like it on my nose. Like you can't tell as much now that I've got like my highlighter on and everything. But it didn't work that great on my nose. But other than that, it's a really nice foundation. I might just have to give it more of a go. I'll try, try it with some different primers, that kind of thing. Because I do like it and I do like the coverage. And I feel like it has made my skin look really nice. And just, it's not like a full coverage foundation. It's a medium coverage. But I still think it looks gorgeous. So... Yeah, I'm going to have to give this more of a go, but it was just my nose that really messed it up. But that could just be me. I'm not too sure. I used the Iconic London um, Sheer Blush. I like this. It's a nice sheer blush. It goes on beautifully. It's definitely a lot more liquidy than what I'm used to working with, but it's still applied beautifully. You can build this up. It is stunning. I love the shade. Really nice. I then used the Nabla, the highlighter. It's quite nice. It's definitely not as glowy like when you swatch it. Like it's definitely, I wouldn't say it's a highlighter. However, it's, for me, this shade does work well as a, like a blush topper. Just gives a little glow and it's nice. I do like it. I'm gonna have to try it out some more though. Um, Cause it is really pretty. Like look at that, it is stunning. Oh. But I'm definitely going to try this out some more. I just think I would definitely use it as a blush topper for myself. Um, and it just worked well that way. So, yeah. Okay. What did I use next? I'm like, what did I use next? I had so many products. I'm like, what did I use? Okay. The brow pencils and the, the brow gel. I already love the Gimme Brows. I wasn't going to use that. I already have it. Love it. I'm going to keep this one though. Um, I will be using the brow styler. I'm going to test this out at some point. But I just thought, you know what, let's just test out a couple of products. Not all of them. Brow pencil, really like it. Applies beautifully. It is gorgeous. It has definitely filled in my brows perfectly. It is gorgeous. It's creamy. It does the job. Really like it. It's nice and the pencil's nice and thin, so I do like that. The brow setter. Let's feel my brows. My brows definitely feel like they are quite stiff and they feel like they won't move, but I feel like my brows are very temperamental. They do kind of tend to move around, like they kind of just have a mind of their own. But I'm going to try this out. I do, so far, it's definitely keeping them in place and it looks nice. It doesn't make my brows look stiff or anything. They still look really natural and that's what I kind of like. So yeah, and I love the packaging. I feel like Benefit just kills it with the packaging like every single time. Okay, the last thing is the Iconic London Prep Set and Glow. I love this. It smells amazing. And my skin, it's given just like a little bit of like glitter to my skin almost. Like a little shimmer and it's just made my skin look amazing. I feel like without this, my skin wouldn't look as good. I really like this and I love the smell and I feel like this will be really so nice just like I said on them days where you just want them no makeup makeup looks just apply a little bit of this to the skin it'll make your skin glow Mwah. chef's kiss here for it so yeah I really hope you enjoyed today's video guys like I said if you want me to do any videos using any of the other she glam palettes or if you want me to use the 35o for morphe just let me know because I can do that for you guys and yeah as everything else that I'm wearing I'll link in the description box down below as always and yes, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!